Um, nice, and welcome to this uh, recording of the verb ending songs. Uh, just giving you the active verb endings. Um, now, I have one of these that I made myself to Furajaka, and then you've got an um, active verb ending song um, that was done by Latinology. Um, check out their YouTube channel, and that one's to a uh, Jason Mraz song, I'm Yours. So, we'll do both of these. Uh, whichever one helps you most, or maybe you like both of them, just see what you like. O R M S N T M U S M U S T I S N N T T I S N N T Active verbs, active verbs. First comes I, then comes you. He, she, it, he, she, it. We all and then they, we all and then they, subjects for all the verbs. So going in order, this is telling you that for the I ending, you need O or M. Uh, o is used for present tense. It's also used in, in future sometimes. M is used for uh, a lot of your other tenses like your imperfect or your pluperfect, things like that. S is used for the U singular, T is used for he, she, it, mus is we. Uh, I remember that because we is the same as us, and of course mus ends with us, or a U-S anyhow. T-I-S is y'all, or you plural, and N-T is they. Um, so this tells us the endings. It also tells us what subjects they go with. Now here's the second song. Uh, Again, this goes to Jason Mraz, I'm yours. Cause I am O and you are S and he, she, it, his, T. I guess we are mus and tis is y'all, which leaves in T as they, that's all. Now, a nice part about this song is that each little verse you have the subject paired with the Latin ending so the English subject um, that that ending translates to so that's nice I like that um, just as a reminder though some of the tenses don't use O for the um, I form of the verb some of them use M as the ending so just remember that and you'll be good here of course that is expressed in the other song both these songs are, are um, very good and helpful just whatever helps you, maybe both. And I hope you learned a few things here. Walete usque ad proximum.